Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, November 14th, and I'm Wade Glover here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The food drive provides students a chance to help the hungry. WTV's Maddie D'Addario has the details. Through November 18th, Stuco will be hosting the annual food drive through Frisco Family Services. They ask students and staff to please bring various canned items as well as other non-perishable items such as ramen noodles. There are multiple boxes throughout the school to drop off cans and other food items. Some of these locations include the rotunda and large window in between the English and Social Study hallways. I'm Maddie D'Addario with Wingspan TV. A new club has arrived on campus. WTV's Davis O'Brien has the details. Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, better known as JROTC, is an Army-originated program that is geared towards benefiting students' leadership and citizenship abilities. The club was started in 1916 with just six groups and now is up to nearly 2,000 across the U.S. The first step in getting an official JROTC branch on campus just happened as the club was just given approval thanks to one student. I wanted to start a JROTC club because I felt like it was something Liberty needed and I felt like it might be a good model for the district to eventually have a course. In the JROTC club, during the, our meetings before school, we will be teaching what actual courses teach and then outside of school we'll be doing volunteer work and helping the community. We'll be in contact with a uh, recruiter or the JROTC programs in other areas to see what they're doing. As of now, the club is not a part of the JROTC national course as it lacks an officer to run the program, but the people involved are working towards that goal. In order to get a JROTC course in FISD, we would be the baseline or the standard and we'd be a model for the FISD administration and they would base a, their decision off of us whether they want a course or not. According to the official U.S. Army JROTC website, students involved in prior courses on other campuses across the country showed an improvement in attendance, graduation, and GPA. This is Davis O'Brien reporting for Wingspan TV. There's a new chill treat on campus. WTV's Carter Brock has the details. At the same time Jamba Juice's headquarters was moved from California to Frisco, their smoothies had found their way into the cafeteria. Although Frisco ISD had been trying to get the smoothies into the cafeterias for a few years, they first became available for purchase earlier this year. Cafe supervisor Melissa Mendiola says Jamba Juice is simplifying healthy living by offering easier access to real fruit smoothies on the go and offers students a new tasty and healthy option. However, Mendiola says that due to the end of the Jamba Go business venture, students should enjoy the smoothies while they can, as they will be expected to be removed after Christmas break. This is Carter Brock reporting for Wingspan TV. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And check out our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Girls Basketball plays at Liberty at 6.15 on Wednesday against Lone Star. Tickets are now on sale for Shrek the Musical. Students will not be able to park in the teacher parking lot by the tennis courts anymore until after 2.30 p.m. The entire east side of the school is open for parking. The annual food drive started last Monday. The school is collecting non-perishable cans of food and packs of ramen noodles through November 18th. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Wade Glover for WTV.